everybody. We got a, this question comes in a lot. This is from Alex and Fabrizio and many other people. Uh, the pronunciation differences between these words and these words. And we can see some of these words are very dangerous words. You don't want to use these words at the office or to your mother or mother-in-law. No, no, these are not words that you use freely, only with your friends if you use them at all. So, uh, we've got the E sound and the I sound. Now, in American English, we studied this as the long E sound, the long E sound. And we studied this as the short I sound, the short I, okay? So, it, it doesn't mean E, it, it doesn't mean that. What this long sound and short sound mean is actually the trajectory, how far out the sound goes. So I'll explain. When we do the long E sound, the sound actually comes out of the mouth E and imagine the sound going up, like at 30 degrees. So the long E, it's easy to imagine the sound leaves your mouth and goes up at 30. E, E, so send out the sound. E, don't do this, E, no, that's cheating. Keep your head straight, but put this, push the sound up. E, 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 okay? That's the idea. It can be short, E, it can be, it can be long, E. Now, the short I, in this case, short means it goes right down, it falls, it's a short distance, a long distance, a short distance, and the short I, the sound goes down. And I want you to imagine the sound going down at about, oops, 45 degrees. Eh, 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 eh. The opposite, E, E, E. To, to send it out, you need some energy. E, E. But this one, do you need energy? No, it's just gonna fall. Eh, eh. Eh, very short. So you hear the difference? E, eh, e, eh. And that takes us to these words. She, 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 she. Shit, shit, shit. Do you want a sheet? It's this one. Do you want a shit? <laughs> it's that one, okay? Be careful. You don't want to make a mistake. Yeah, like my cat, my crazy cat. Uh, my cat must go take a shit now. Not a sheet, but a shit. Yeah, sorry. Uh, don't screw up these words. You go to your office and you say to your boss, I need a sheet of paper. But you say, I need a shit of paper. A shit of paper? He will probably give you this. Did you mean toilet paper? A shit of paper. Paper for after when you go shit. Yeah. So uh, be careful with your pronunciation. Same here. Peace. Peace. Same. You can make it a short peace. Peace. Along. Peace. Peace. Okay? Here. Piss. Piss. The sound goes down. Piss. This is has many definitions. Uh, one of the definitions is the opposite of this, to piss, urinate. So, uh, I want a piece, a piece of cake. I want a piece, I want a piece. But if your pronunciation is bad, I want a piss, I want a piss. So if I'm holding a big chocolate cake, hello everybody, who wants some chocolate cake? And you say, I want to piss! I want to piss! <laughs> That's terrible! I would say go! Go to the bathroom! Be careful! Peace, piss. Peace, piss. Ah! I love the beach! Huh. 
I love the bitch. <laughs> yeah. Very different in meanings. Yeah. Be careful with these words, the pronunciation. Because especially in these three, the meaning can be very, very different. Now, I like this one. Steel, steel, long E sound, still, short I sound. And I like to practice this sentence. This is a sentence I give my students. Uh, we can say, he still steals steel. Okay? He still, still, still steals, steals, steal. He still steals, steal. So I'm going to stand close to the camera and I want you to first of all watch my lips. He still steals, steal. So you can see I'm putting some energy, a lot of, uh, come out wide, but also I'm using some energy here. He's still steals steal he 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 still steals steal can you hear the difference i know it's tough but you need to master that difference in the sound and the first thing the first step you should do is concentrate on angle e Eh. E eh. Now, as a native English speaker, do I think about that? Of course not. I can make the sound naturally. But if it is not natural for you, then exaggerate. Go to the basics. E eh. E eh. Once you can hear yourself pronouncing the sounds correctly, then you start practicing faster and faster and more and more natural. And eventually, one day you'll say, I love the beach when you mean the beach. And I love the bitch when you mean the bitch. I want to piss when you need to go to the bathroom. I want a piece when you want some cake. Could I have a sheet when you want some paper? Could I take a shit when you want to go to the bathroom? And hopefully, at that point, he will not still steal, steal. Correct? That's it. Thanks so much, you guys. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day, and I'll see you to next. I'll see you to next time. It's like tomorrow, but it's to next time. It's a new expression, so let's start using.